So what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at a fish, doing an overall health survey, and harvesting its liver for a vitaligenin study down the road. The first step we're going to do is we want to get the length of our fish and the weight and just record these in our notebook. I like to get uh, write the stuff down on a right on the ring paper. Makes it easy. So right now we're gonna take a look at their fins and just look at the overall body. And you see got a little bit of injury there on that one dorsal on the dorsal fin. Look at their scales and their fins to see if they were living a rough life or if they had been attacked or anything. It can be indicative of some things we might see on the inside if they've been injured severely. So we're just looking over their fins and their scales and just giving them an overall health inspection on their exterior. So now we're going to cut into it. So I like to start with the scalpel just behind the front fin or behind the fins on the bottom and cut from the back to right about the anus and then cut in front. And the reason I don't cut through that is because it's actually pretty bony. And so I'll actually use just scissors to cut through that because it makes it a lot easier. So yeah, there we'll snip through that bone with our scissors, which will open up the entire chest cavity. See that this one's a female because the egg sac is already popping out. These were caught in uh, late winter, and so they've got their eggs are almost ready to spawn. So they've got a lot of them in here. So we're going to remove the eggs, and we're actually going to weigh them. And we're going to compare the egg mass to the body weight because the study we're going to be doing is going to be relating to egg production and overall health. And so having an idea of the biomass of the eggs versus the biomass of the fish can be pretty important. See, we've got about 22 grams of eggs for a fish that weighed barely over 100 grams, so it's actually quite a bit of a ratio of egg mass to body weight. So here we actually have the intestinal tract, so that's just where they go to the bathroom, and then it connects all the way back. And there we have the heart and the liver, and you can see the rest of the stomach. If you see that kind of shiny silver part, there's actually the gas bladder right there. I'm just going to open up a little bit more and get it nice and easy. And so well, the part we're actually going to want to remove, so, yep, that's the gas bladder right there. The part we're going to actually want to remove is going to be the uh, kidney, which is the big kind of pinkish disc shaped organ, a little bit pinkish and flat organ. The other one right there, that's what we're going to want to be removing. We're going to try to, and then we got right below that, that deep red organ is actually the heart of our fish. And it's deep red because of all the blood flowing through it, so that makes a lot of sense as why it's so deep red. So now we're actually going to remove the kidney. We're just going to use a little pair of tweezers. Some people will use their hands, but tweezers can be a bit cleaner than trying to pull it out by hand. And so we're just removing it from there, making sure it doesn't connect anywhere else. And we're just going to pinch it off and pull it out. Gonna take that kidney and uh, freeze it for later because we're actually gonna do a chemical analysis on the kidney flesh because the kidney is what kind of cleans out all the uh, bad stuff and so you can find some chemicals in there that you won't find elsewhere in the body or you can find them in higher concentrations here at least. So here's what we got left. You can see the heart right there and you can see the back of the gills. Or those deep red plates right there, that's what they use to breathe underwater. The heart is of course what they use to transport their blood. So another good thing to take a peek at is we're actually going to take a quick little look at all the organs. Just see if there's any parasites or any scarring on them. And then we're going to look at the gills and see if there's any issues with them because some parasites will actually feed on the gills because they're really nutrient rich. Overall, this fish looks pretty healthy. So here's a cross section of the fish, so you can kind of see what we are looking at and how it is actually orientated in the fish itself. You see, as the gas bladder is up towards the top, that's actually used for them to control the level at which they are floating at, and actually fill and release air to gauge their depth and get. 
so they can hover without having to swim. Many fish don't have swim bladders, so they actually have to constantly be moving to stay in the level of the water they want to be in. And then you got the liver there, which as we said, it pretty much filters out all the nasty stuff. The intestines is where they remove all their waste, and the heart is what they use to circulate blood. See that's way down there at the bottom, right underneath the gills. And the gills are there, so how they actually get the oxygen in. And so the fish we the fish we are using for our study will not be going to waste. They have actually been donated to a local raptor rehabilitation area. And so they'll be getting fed to raptors. And the kidneys will be going to good use because we'll be able to find and track down a thing that is harming our local fish. So I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below.